Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am Game Master Bloodworth, and as you can see by the graphics, uh, today's video, I am going to begin a series looking at Basic Fantasy RPG, the fourth edition. So, um, I've had the, four, uh, you know, the third edition for quite a number of years now, and uh, I've reviewed it in the past and, um, you know, did really quite well with it. I've played it. Uh, probably about like two times and um, you know really enjoyed it I, I really like the the simplicity of the system and of course the biggest I think draw to basic fantasy is the fact that um, you can get virtually everything if not everything for free uh, from either directly their website or from drive through RPG or most likely other places as well uh, and, um, and, and that is the free, uh, the free PDFs. So that's what I'm going to focus on now. And I'm going to call these the essential free downloads that you can get for basic fantasy RPG fourth edition. Uh, and as well as others that I didn't include there, like I haven't included any of the starter adventures or anything, which there is a number of them. So I, I strongly suggest that you uh, take a look at those as well. So I'm just going to go over for this episode just the essential free downloads, uh, in my opinion, and then uh, I will then begin to dig much deeper into Basic Fantasy 4th Edition um, because I, I'm looking to see what changes actually take place between 3rd Edition and the fourth edition. Now the fourth edition came out in uh, 2023, I believe. So I'm a little bit behind on uh, digging back into this. Uh, once again, all of this new renewed interest into uh, basic fantasy RPG for me is that a, a comment on my, you know, from one of my subscribers uh, asked about the the comparison between basic fantasy monsters and monsters in castles and crusades and that is really what generated my interest in looking into this game system a little bit more uh, in depth and and more, more recently since it does have a fourth edition out so without further ado let me shift over and start uh, sharing with you some of the things that I believe is essential for you uh, if you're looking to play this game or looking to run this game. So the first thing that I have up here is the, uh, this is just the cover. So, um, and, and that, that's like a little bit weird that the, the cover isn't included with the, the, the whole of the PDF. Uh, I'm not quite sure why that is. Maybe it's a size issue. Uh, thing that, um, you know, I just don't know. It, it's just kind of strange that the cover, um, and unfortunately, at least I didn't see that there's the back cover as well. That would have been nice to have the front and the back cover so that if you wanted to um, print this whole thing out, you'd also have the back cover. So I am going to go to the actual rule set and make sure you're looking at it as well. So here is the basic fantasy role-playing game. This is the rule set. You can see copyrighted from 2006 through 2024. And this is the fourth edition. And I believe, like I said, I believe this came out in 2023. Um, but I could be wrong. I saw that someplace that it was 2023. So anyway, um, so here we have um here we have some of the licensing so it's it's now under creative uh commons attrib attribution share alike 4.0 international license uh so they did separate from uh the previous you know OGL and I can you know flip through and get to uh that OGL that was in the 3rd edition and um and so here it has, um, and so here it has uh, the introduction, and I'll just read off 
very, very quickly that it's uh, based on the system reference document 3.5 SRD, which is open gaming content, uh, open gaming license in, in itself is uh, not open game content. Instructions are using the license are provided within the license itself. Um, there is some CNC in here. So it says note regarding CNC open game content used uh, and there's designations and so on and so forth. And of course, we will have the Wizards of the Coast open game license version 1.0a, which was the OGL that uh, caused all the brouhaha about that. So just looking at the table of contents very, very quickly, you have a, a standard introduction which says, you know, what is this? What is role playing? What do you need to play in using dice? Then everything you need to know about characters and um, and then spells and then adventures, the encounters and all different types of encounters, the monsters and treasure, game master information. So this is a single volume role playing game, which I really, really do love as well. A nice little thank you page. And then we go into the introduction. Again, I am just going to be flipping through these things so that, um, so that you can see that this is my list of essential downloadable free PDFs that you should grab a hold of. So let me make sure you're looking at the next one and you are. So um, I really like this monster index. All right. And, um, and this one I don't have to do a whole separate video on because it's really quite self-explanatory. But here we have creatures that are uh, listed based on um based on their their number of hit die and uh it even tells you where you can find them you know whether it's core page 58 um uh the g40 there, there will be an index definition of where each of these are so the field guide um field guide 2 uh, are listed in here as well so that's what i'm you know so feel uh f 27 is uh, is one of the field guides. Uh, so they will designate where they're actually coming from. And this is just a list of, of creatures in the basic fantasy role-playing game. And they are divided down into going all the way up to uh, 40 hit dice and above. Uh, so that's kind of crazy. That's a crazy amount of uh, hit die that you can deal with. But characters in this basic system, unlike many other basic, uh, you know, D and D uh, retro clones, goes all the way up to level twenty. So it does carry you pretty far up there uh, in uh, in levels. And yet, spell casting and everything is is pretty much capped at level six spells so that's kind of interesting uh you know but i'll go into more detail with that so i like this because if you're planning an adventure for uh first level characters then you can see well you know what's the you know what's a fairly common less than one hit die creature that they might encounter um then considering that same environment what would be a good one hit die monster that they can counter uh, in, in fairly large number. Then uh, a moderate challenge would be the two hit die uh, creatures in, in somewhat, you know, maybe matching uh, numbers to the party. And then maybe a couple of 3D, uh, you know, three hit die monsters and possibly one fourth hit die monster. Uh, to be like something that is uh, a major, um, a major uh, battle that they might uh, that they might be challenged by. All right. Um, I mean, I just picked up here like the desert worm, so you can you can see what is going to be in a desert environment and pull from all of these different indexes. So I, I really do like this. This is I think very very useful. Um, whether you're using it for basic fantasy or any other. Um, D and D, you know, uh, adjacent, uh, basic fantasy, uh, you know, role playing game. 
Nexus, a field guide, uh, double check to make sure. So here's the field guide. Now this one is listed as second edition. Uh, it goes up to 2023. So I'm assuming that this is when this came out and this is volume one. And you have a lot of creatures in here that are coming from um, from the AD&D, um, you know, like an Aboleth and, and other things like that. So you're seeing a lot of crossover between Advanced Dungeons and & Dragons and here as well. But some unique things uh, that are unique to this game system, which I also very much like. So, um, so here we have a number of things. I know I saw like flying, yeah, like f winged apes. All right, so that's pretty, pretty cool. You know, um, that was the one that stood out to me. I was like, yeah, I don't recall them being in, um, they're not in AD&D, &D, and I uh, really like the fact that they're out there. So again, a free, a free download on drive through RPG or the Basic Fantasy RPG uh, main website. Then we have Field Guide 2, which is a little bit stranger than 1. So this is getting into those like really weird little uh, things and uh, a lot of, um, what, were, what were these called, like moldrons and uh, a lot of constructs and just weird twisted uh, type creatures here. Um, you know, so again, just a, another large index of, uh, additional monsters that you can throw another 101 pages worth of monsters. Then, uh, we go to the basic fantasy equipment emporium. All right. And this here obviously is going to give you lists and some images and everything for all of your weapons, your armors and shields, your general equipment, um, animals that are also in here. So guards and hunting. So for, for animals, let's see what we have here. So uh, guards and hunting, because I was looking for like, so yeah, here you have war dogs and hunting dogs. And I, I was looking for that for my Shadow Dark campaign, you know, and unfortunately, it did not come, you know, it did not come up uh, during my, uh, you know, during my search through uh, Shadow Dark. So this would have been really, really uh, useful for me to take a look at and, and pull right over into there. Because I, I think the transition to Shadow Dark would actually be fairly easy. Uh, so there you have all of those things. Now I just ordered... Uh, I just ordered Basic Fantasy RPG 4th Edition from Amazon because that was going to get to me a lot faster than, um, you know, and believe it or not, without with the free shipping cheaper than if I got it from Drive Through RPG. So uh, I bought it directly from, uh, from Amazon and it should arrive by, uh, by Saturday. So uh, by Saturday, I'll be looking to do the first uh, real deep dive into the um into the core rule book of uh basic fantasy fourth edition so i hope you enjoyed this video and um uh, remember it's very very easy to look for these things if you want to look for these things on drive through rpg you can go through my affiliate link that is in the description of every video that i put up there and uh you know if you if you are just passing through please consider subscribing uh, like the video, share the video, and um, you know, and leave your comments in there. If you if you've been running, fan, you know, basic fantasy for quite some time, uh, please give me your your impressions of the game system and and how you've been playing it, or what what other game systems you integrate different parts into your basic fantasy, or vice versa. That's really what spurred this whole video and my renewed interest into basic fantasy. RPG again. So uh, yeah, feel free to leave those comments in there as well. And uh, as always, I look forward to reading your comments in the comment section and responding to them. But I also look forward to seeing you on a gaming screen or at a convention sometime soon. You all have a great rest of your afternoon. And uh, yeah, just keep, keep on rolling those dice, just keep on gaming, and keep on exploring different systems for yourself, because I think that is one of the, the greatest things that you can do 
uh, both for yourself and for the hobby is to you know expand your horizons and, and play different game systems and run different game systems and then uh, play in different in different modes uh, so you know if you're playing at home play at home play online play at a local gaming store or you know uh, you know play or run at uh, gaming conventions and you will see that the the hobby has so much to offer the more that you engage it with it in different ways. So I'll leave it at that. You all have a great one. Take care.